Hi, I'm Douglas Lang with my TBI aphasia therapy video. Uh, the therapy I'm going to be discussing centers on dysarthria. Dysarthria, D-Y-S-A-R-T-H-R-I-A. Dysarthria is a motor speech disorder. It's a form of aphasia, specifically an expressive, a form of expressive aphasia. It's caused by one form of a traumatic brain injury, whether it be a stroke or perhaps a concussion. Either way, Dysarthria means that the muscles of the mouth, face, and respiratory system become weak, move slowly, or they don't move at all after the brain injury. And the type and severity of dysarthria depend on which area of the nervous system is affected. And some signs of this are slurred speech, uh, the person might speak like somebody who has a hearing disorder, you know, that slurred, slurred way of talking, uh, kind of speak in an abnormal rhythm, uh, have limited tongue, lip and jaw movement. Now this therapy is based on an observation I did, and of course when we do an observation we're then asked what what we would do to expand on this therapy. So that's what this therapy I'm doing now is. It's an extension of the observation I just did. In this case, in this case the student had trouble pronouncing the letter R. And one of the things the, uh, the uh, SLP did was to use a tongue depressor and have the student put it on various parts of her of her tongue the front a lock and so on and it would be a way to limber up her mouth muscle just as a person who's going to exercise might do some stretches uh, it's the same sort of uh, same sort of line of thinking you know limbering up before you get into the real deal what I'm going to have the student do, sort of to relax them and make, make it a little fun, is to see how long they could hold a lifesaver on their tongue. Probably ideally to begin with, we'll do this for 10 seconds. Okay, and you might want to, again, to make it sort of fun and to put the student at ease, give them another flavor, to have various colors of lifesavers. And now here's a green one. So this has a twofold purpose. It actually does exercise the tongue muscles uh, and perhaps the jaw muscles. Uh, you can do the peanut butter on the roof of the mouth. That's another variation on this. And it also does just kind of put the student on e at ease and you know make the activity a little fun. Now, when I saw the SLP at work with the student, they were pronouncing, because this student had trouble pronouncing the letter R, and in these type of patients, it, it varies from, from patient to patient. Some, some might have trouble pronouncing the letter L or the letter S, and this observation happened to be the letter R, and the speech therapist had the student pronounce words that began with the letter R, like red and row and read. So on expanding on that, I'm going to have the student, who's 11 years old, by the way, and whose reading school skills are fairly well developed, 
do some R words that are more than one syllable. We'll start with R words that have two syllables and begin and end in R. Rather, raptor, razor. Now you can pronounce them first, the teacher, rather, raptor, razor, and have the student repeat them or say them along with you, and then see if the student can say them on his or her own. Then we'll get to some more complex words, three syllable words. So there's an R in, at the beginning, the middle, and the end, as in road, runner, roller, coaster, recorder. And of course we would emphasize that letter R because that's the letter that the client is having trouble pronouncing. So again, razor, raptor, rather, road runner, roller coaster, recorder. Again, emphasize the R because that's the letter the student has difficulty with. So, again, we have a little fun with the lifesavers, but we also get down to some more serious uh, business with the pronunciation of the words with the letter R. And that's my TBI aphasia therapy. Thank you. How long was that?